The Department of Civil and Structural Engineering at the University of Sheffield has existed for 100 years. Our research impacts the quality and safety of lives globally. The research areas we're active in range from water supply systems and flood protection to structural areas such as blast protection, earthquake engineering and fire protection and also includes more novel areas such as air quality research and sustainable construction. Our researchers are world-renowned experts in these areas. So my research is all about sort of foundation engineering and how we maximise the efficiency of our foundations. So the main impact of the work is to be able to construct in new challenging environments. So I'm currently looking at a problem of installing bigger monopiles in the North Sea to allow the next generation of wind turbines to be installed and maximise the renewable energy output. So currently our built environment is causing massive degradation to the planet. We have to change, we have to change rapidly and radically. So our research is tackling this by starting right at the early stages in the construction of buildings and the renovation of buildings and the materials that's being used all the way through the lifespan of the buildings and how that building is operated in order to maintain healthy environments at minimal energy costs. For about 30 years now I've been looking at the way steel frame buildings behave in fire. I hope that in future designers will be able to design buildings using software that we've produced to put fire protection exactly where it's needed. On the other hand, they can also use the principles we've, we've developed and our software to ensure that buildings are safe in fire against disproportionate collapse. In my research, I look at how materials and structures can be modelled with computers. If computer models can be relied upon, then they can be used to replace experimental programs in the labs and also uh, test structures and materials in conditions that cannot be tested at all in labs. As a blast protection engineer, uh, my research focuses on quantifying what happens when an explosion goes off and how do we work out what that's going to do to a building by understanding first and foremost what the actual explosion itself is doing. Um, how does that interact with structures? How do the structures change the, the shape of the blast wave itself? And then how do structures respond to that loading? So I work in an area called urban drainage engineering and I'm particularly interested in stormwater management, what happens to rainfall. I would say my key message at the moment is we don't need to put rain down the drain. We can manage it instead on the surface with things like green roofs, stormwater planters and rain gardens, but of course we need to understand how they actually perform. So the research that I'm doing, a lot of that is about preventing flooding in urban areas and improving water quality. So some really big challenges coming for urban water infrastructure, not least climate change and the, the water resource issues that's going to bring, but also the population growth. Um, we're living in ever more densely populated urban areas, so a lot of the work I do is how can we best use the pipe networks that are so endemic through our towns and our cities, how come they're so essential and how do we keep using them for the future. Urbanisation is bypassing the natural infiltration of rain into the ground and sending it directly into sewer systems, many of which are over 100 years old and not designed for this capacity. So the hope is that by developing uh, better ways to monitor and understand what's going on in our river systems and sewer systems, that we can be better placed to anticipate and uh, respond to problems uh, when they happen or ideally before they happen. The biggest challenge in our research is that we bury all of our pipe infrastructure, which is fantastic because it protects it, but it does mean that we can't see what's actually going on under the ground. And we need to understand how those uh, pipelines and other uh, aspects of the buried infrastructure are going to deteriorate over time and work out how we can best use them in the future so that we uh, maintain a safe, clean drinking supply for our future population.